Hi, everyone. Happy Sunday. How has everybody been? How's everybody's week gone? I saw a couple people talking about the earthquake in New Jersey and New York. Um, uh, as, as two people that lived in LA and had been through many earthquakes, jarring earthquakes. It was kind of funny the way the people of New York acted like it I was know. the um, second coming of Christ. But, I, <laughs> but did you see the memes they were? I mean, I was up probably all night. The, the well, It was Friday. The earthquake happened on Friday, but I was up then the whole night just lit, watching all the people make the memes. It was yeah. so funny. They were doing sex in the city memes. I mean, what was, what was, inter what I was interesting one. I saw was how much of a TikTok age we're in because there was this one woman. I'll pull it up before the end of the show and we can watch it. It's actually really funny. She's uh does she tries on clothes and that's her TikTok channel. So she's trying on the outfit, she's doing the outfit, then all of a sudden she looks up and she goes, Is my apartment moving? Is that the whole building moving? And then afterwards, she just goes back to showing the clothes because that's how like it was just a little sway. I remember being in an earthquake and our pool went. Shoom, yeah, shoom, yeah, shoom, yeah, and and some of uh our pictures came off the wall. Do you remember yeah. that? Like a like a frame. Yeah. But um, they had the best memes. Okay, so picture Carrie Bradshaw at her computer. It's a Sex and the City. I saw that one. Okay, and it goes as New York was hit by an earthquake. I couldn't help but wonder where the tecniconic plates as unstable as my history with big, I screwed that that's up, but funny. it's yeah. funny. The memes that they did, yeah. I completely botched that. Jen's joke here. Up. And that's a good thing. Jen's here because we are doing the handoff today. With hand Jen. job with Jen, the hand job with Jen hand job on Sundays with Jen. Yeah. So at triplet, <laughs> after you see us, we uh, want you to go over to real housewives recaps. She will be taken over for us and it's going to be a really good show there's a lot to discuss there's a lot to discuss in the world of uh just megan in general um because i really think at this point she's so over a barrel to get this out let's say hi to everyone yeah let's first say hi to everyone but i, I was, but but i i just because we were talking about the earthquake i had i had a joke Oh, Stephanie's got a joke. Okay, because SNL was on, and and they did they did they did a they did a little earthquake thing. Uh, yeah. I know we're gonna celebrate Miss Peaches having Ms. a million Peaches. days. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten that. Okay, so here's my joke, everybody. Pretend we're on Weekend Update SNL. Okay, <clears throat> I should have you read it. No, you do it. <laughs> okay. Visitors to New York's Times Square on Friday morning were in for a bit of a surprise. Crazy people started shooting at them. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good one. That's my joke, guys. That's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. I got another one coming up at the end. So Hi, everybody, Amy. wait. I got a uh, I got a solar eclipse joke coming up at the end, so we can all be in now, sure of that. Is this solar eclipse, guys? That's coming on Monday. Is this the same one we saw like nine, ten years ago that I saw with Chris Perkins? I slept through the whole thing. No, no, no. But is this the same one, the totality? Yes. So I've already seen I this. I believe so. Okay, and everybody so, was making okay. the, the milk cartons with the with the mirrors. Yeah. And everything. Okay. Uh, do you remember that? Yeah. I just, yeah. I remember um, Stephanie used to date this guy <laughs> and she didn't want to date him anymore. And God bless his heart. He came to Portland and so and I Nancy ended up invited him. No, I didn't invite him. I invited you him. You didn't invite him. You and, and I, Lisa. Would you like me to Archie tell the invited story? Him. Would you like me to tell the story? <laughs> sure, it's the truth. I invited him to our home in Henderson the weekend we were going to be there. No, we I no, I invited him to Henderson, okay. and then at the last minute, I started liking this other guy, so I ended up not going. But gotcha. Nancy went. Okay. Then Nancy invited him to Portland. That's the truth. Why okay. are you making that up? Okay. So, um, anyways, he came, <laughs> and it was actually a fun. It was actually a fun thing because I uh, we ended up taking uh our my car and my my SUV and putting uh pillows in the back and waiting for this thing to happen and it was what's great about it is you meet people you never think you're going to meet so we're next to these couple and they're hippies and she's got <laughs> all her crystals out and I go hey what are you going to do with those crystals she goes I'm going to have the um I'm going to have the the solar eclipse re-energize them yeah <laughs> and I'm just like Really? 
Okay. That's your solar eclipse story. Th this is my story. So we were in the path of You were with my ex-boyfriend. We, <laughs> we were in the path of totality. We were um it was it happened in Oregon nine, ten years ago. I right. can't remember exactly we're when. We're not in it this month. No, this, we're not this, this thank month. God. But thank we God. were in the path. So we were able to go there. And I remember hearing the birds just chirping in a weird way, and the crickets were crick, 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 crick. and then all of a sudden. Guys, it's dark during the day. I could not wait to see that sun again. I got scared. I got scared. I really did. I said, what if this is it? This could be it. So I'm, I'm glad. No, I, got, I mean, seriously, you see this thing go over and then like the sun's gone for a while. <laughs> And you're like, now what? Yeah, someone just said your story's lame. Sorry. <laughs> it was good. But people want to know, uh, do we ever date our exes? No, Nancy did not date him. She just uh, filled his time while he was in no, Portland. He needed, he needed a body. He needed a body to, uh, yeah, because I, because I, you know, when you like someone else and then you're like, God, I don't, I can't be around the guy that I used to. Should we tell with. him about the guy you liked at the time? Who did I like at the time? No. <laughs> um, but uh, no, but you know, that that's how it all happened. I didn't want to be mean to him, but at the same time, I didn't want to. Uh, cheat on the guy that I had the crush on. You, you, you dig? Thomas, you dig? Thomas Markles Jr. With live was taken down. That sucks. I heard about that. There's a lot of controversy. Go I can't talk. Controversy going on around Thomas Markle Jr. these days. A lot of people are upset with him because he is. Uh, he sort. He's sort of uh, going around telling tales. Telling tall tales. Well, you know what I mean. Stephen Magus. And thank um. You. And and a lot of people. What. I just, when you're done, I want to read. And a lot of people are kind of, kind of uh, a little off set with him because he is telling a, a few tall tales saying that a lot of palace sources are telling him that a big bombshell is going to come out soon or all this stuff. But I, I, you know, God bless him. You know, he's out there trying to, trying to hustle and make, make money, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of hoopla going around Thomas Markle right now. Steven, what career is your dad doing now since Masson destroyed his professional reputation? Yes. Is dad doing voiceover work for Megan's Netflix <laughs> cooking show? You know, it's weird, Steven. We never heard something from from uh, YouTube. They didn't take us down. No, 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 no warnings and desist from a lawyer. So uh, I think he was kind of full of crap. Seems like Masson has empty threats. But my yeah. dad actually is taking up uh, full time golfing now. Yeah, full time golfing. He will not uh, have another profession outside of the golf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I don't laughs> no, he said he'd be on the show again. He oh, would he? Would. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, guys. I I wanted to do something at the top of the hour with you to try this thing out. So I read in a magazine. I think it was Cosmo. And I read that people who travel a lot, and lately I've been traveling a lot, um, who who get like jet lag or they don't. Do you notice that when you go on vacation, you don't drink enough water? This is not an ad. Let me just say this right now. This is not an ad. I read this. It's I ordered not. it. And, and I want to try it. But I want to try it with you guys to see if I get like like vitamin out. Oh, like, God. Ah! Is there caffeine in No, it? there's no caffeine. Oh, okay, good. so I bought this thing called Preggy Hydration. She's not pregnant. Okay. Though. People are going to get upset And it's that. for <laughs> women who need that extra hydration for when they're pregnant. And the reason I bought this is because there's this is a hack that people use who are not pregnant, men and women, when they go on vacation, they put one of these packs in their water and they down it in the morning, and that way they can drink as much as they want at night. Now, I tend to hit the sauce at night, especially when I'm with my boyfriend. So um, I'm going to try it now, and if I notice, like, oh, I'm getting some hydration, I will bring the packs with me on vacation, and hopefully this will make us feel better um, in the mornings. So here it is. I'm going to put it in here. Let me go get some water. Which Nancy's inventing the hangover cure yes, of the century. This is supposed to be a hangover say, cure. Say goodbye to Pedialyte and Gatorade. This is the new invention from Nancy Sidley. Well, she didn't invent it, but uh, preggy hydration. It actually makes sense because a lot of women, uh, obviously, when they when they have this, the life sucked out of them when they're it's carrying a child, they have to, they well, need hydration. It's supposed to give you electrolytes and Hi. all this stuff. So if I am so excited because if this keeps me hydrated on my next vacation, I will buy a truck truckload of it. So here's, here's Cheers. to your health. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's very sweet. Can I sip it? it? I can try it. Wait, I didn't do it. A it tastes like um, a sweet tart. 
You know those candies without sugar. <laughs> oh, 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 guys, that is so sweet. How can pregnant? Wait, there's no sugar though. How is that possible with it's no sugar? What's in this thing? Stevia. I don't think that's good for you, dude. Oh, you're going to Portland? Any suggestions? Any suge uh, go to. Uh, 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 you know, it's funny when you live here, you have no you're clue. Like, when uh, you're, you're like, wait, what's that thing? But then the, the tourists go, God, there's so much to do here. No, no, no. You'll want to go to go the to Hawthorne Boulevard. Go to Hawthorne. Go to Japanese Garden. You'll want to see the Pitock Mansion. Pitock Mansion. Um, go to the Pearl and see all the. I can uh, give you if if you drug um, addicts. If you want, if if you um. Email me privately. I can give you some great restaurants and stuff. Poncho Sussex. And stuff is, to do when I think about Poncho it. Poncho Sussex is here and she said, does it taste like peaches? Nancy? It doesn't. You know what it tastes it like? like peaches it and It tastes fruit. like, you know, those sweet tarts. Those sweet tarts. It's going to be. Yeah, but 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 I got to be honest with you. Don't you think that the real test would have been if you got drunk no, last I night wanna, and now re, and now no, drank it? I want to make sure that I don't. Because you're hydrated right now. I want to make sure I don't throw up on it. Like, because if you ever had um, if, a, a vitamin water and then you get nauseous, I have. That's why I, I can't don't take want to vitamins happen. for yeah. that reason. But I think I think this might be doable. Voodoo donuts. Don't go to voodoo donuts. No, don't go to voodoo donuts. <laughs> if you guys leave here with a voodoo donut, <laughs> uh, it's it very. It, it is a tourist trap. That's for sure. Yeah. Don't uh, go to voodoo donuts. But I mean, it's not. It's not all the hype. Yeah. What else do we do here? Um. A lot of stuff. There's so much to do here. Go it's, it's to, city. Uh, oh, drive, you know, driving to, uh, whatchamacallit, that's that thing that comes down, the water. Multnomah Falls. Multnomah Falls. We used to do that all the time. Go to Multnomah Falls. Yeah, go there. It's okay, brilliant. let's start this yeah. uh, ring ding of a show. We got a mm -hmm. lot to talk about now. Okay, Thanks, guys. everybody, for being on here. We're going to try to get to as many comments as possible. Miss Peaches <gasps> got to 1 million subscribers on her Instagram page. We are so happy we have the video of the celebration let me first show you why i'm making such a big deal out of this there she is isn't Look at that she one million and all her she cute she's an angel she's just she's just such a um sweet little angel um my email link is in uh the, it, it is on our main youtube page if you just see uh if go to, go to the main youtube page if not i'll i'll write it uh okay guys yay what okay so why don't you give the backstory dude yeah okay so so uh, everyone who, this is who the doesn't backstory. know about miss peaches we've been uh we've been following miss peaches dave portnoy who uh is known for barstool sports he's a sports he dude is a sports dude and um you know take him or leave him he's a businessman business as well man, and he recently adopted a dog and instead of just sitting on his hands like Meghan Markle does and goes, I just like adopting chickens and then not doing anything about it. Yeah. He has changed so many lives, guys. It is incredible. Now, before we get to all the great things, I just want to keep in mind. This is only at 487. No, that's not four. That's a five. I mean, sorry. This <laughs> is at 587 K. So um this is Megan, Megan Markle, Markle Miss Peaches Megan Markle Miss Peaches <laughs> Megan Markle Miss Peaches Miss Peaches So uh yeah Megan Markle is a complete flop a doodle But this is this is coming off so just to get get you guys Let uh, me just show um oh, I thought we were going to do his peaches I know but Are I want it um, I just wanted to show one thing. I apologize, guys. No, it's fine. No, it's all that Pedialyte you're drinking. It's all that. It's okay, making you crazy. So here's the video of him giving Miss Peaches her cake. Miss Peaches, you're probably wondering why I made you put on your pearls. Because you just hit one million followers on Instagram. My little sweet girl, my angel. You brought so much happiness to so many people so quickly. I got you some cakes. Papa went to Happy Tales Bakery. Oh, Miss Peaches. Look at this, Miss Peaches. Here you go, Miss Peaches. A cake for you. I don't know if you can have two cakes. We'll save this. Congrats on one million followers, Miss Peaches. Oh, Miss Peaches. Here you go. Your own cake. Oh, oh! How do you even, how do you even eat that, Miss Peaches? 
<laughs> One million cake. Is it good? Oh, Miss Peaches, look at that tail go. Happy 1 million followers. And thank you to everybody who's followed this wonderful lady. She's honestly the best thing ever, and I'm so lucky to have her. And everybody can get their own Miss Peaches. Go to your local shelter. There's a million Miss Peaches. Maybe not as special as this young lady, but you know what I mean. Adopt, don't shop, right, Miss Peaches? Good girl. How much does Papa let you eat of this before you get a bellyache? <laughs> Good girl, Miss Peaches. I mean, how cute is that? I want to just say the th what he says is so important. You know, he could just love his dog and do nothing, but he doesn't. He freaking tries to help as many animals out there as he can. And him even saying, you know, your papa loves you. And but everybody could have a Miss Peaches. He, you, you know, they could be anybody. And so look at this, guys. This is amazing. This place called Waldo Rescue. They actually put this picture of Dave and Peaches and another dog, and they said, hey, beautiful friends, come and join Waldos in our passionate mission to save our doggy friends, blah, blah, blah. But listen to this. The, <laughs> blah, no, blah, but blah. listen to this. But listen to this. We're bursting with excitement to introduce you to the latest group of Waldos faces lovingly named after the incredible Miss Peaches and her papa Barstool community. Together, let's prove that miracles truly happen when we stand united for our best friends. The past few months, our hearts overflow with gratitude towards Dave Portnoy, Miss Peaches, and his phenomenal Barstool team for their unwavering support in the world of animal rescue. Their kindness shines a light on the challenges faced by volunteers in this noble cause and that we are truly thankful. You guys, I mean, this is what charity is. This is it. Yeah, I mean, and it, it the comeback story on this guy is amazing. <laughs> I mean, it really is. I've do, I've done a little bit of research on Dave Portnoy, <laughs> and I can tell you the incredible response he's getting is unheard of because this guy, uh, women hate. <laughs> well, not all women. Not all women, but you know, do you know what I'm saying? I yeah. mean, I'm not saying all women, but women despise this guy. There's a lot. There's a lot behind him that, and just the redemption story and behind just him. Finding out he doesn't like Meghan Markle is it's, just it's the icing, on, icing the cake. on the cake. So I got to give it to uh, Miss Peaches for bringing all this to. I've I, I've never even cared about sports before. And now because of Miss Peaches, I'm into sports. Yeah, but we so, all. Have, but it is a huge. Um, and a lot of people are now jumping on the Dave Portnoy bandwagon guys. We, we would just like to say before April 3rd, we actually predicted this. Stephanie did. Stephanie said did. he is going to get hotter. And now there's articles written that he is getting hotter. hotter. So get ready. I mean, there's there's feminists that are after this guy now. And, and the and if again, if you go back into his record, uh, his history in the past. He's been me too He's been, he's all been me too He's been all sorts of stuff. And he's actually admitted things that are not the greatest things in the world. But at least, you know, he's honest about it. You know, yeah. he's like, I've done these things. But of course, you know, it's all been with consent. You know, he, yeah. say, he says that. But, the, but, but Miss Peaches is bringing all this light now to uh, animal children charities and i have to say uh dave portnoy is behind this so bravo to him when it comes to Thank dogs you. mental health anything it it's always a win and that's what brings us to princess catherine's brother james now stephanie brought this to my attention i wanted to do I a whole show on this. this i know but you brought this to my attention mm -hmm. james wrote a book he wrote a book about with uh he, he wrote a book uh about him and his dog ella I didn't know this before, but James uh, was clinically depressed. He suffered from de depression for most of his 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 adult life, and he he attributes Ella, his dog, for helping him through those bumpy moments. So he wrote a book about uh, me uh, mental health and his dog Ella. It's called I think it's called Me and Ella. Is Let's that what look called? at. He put this on he put his this Instagram up. Let's page. Check it out. Excited to announce that I've written a book. 
is called Meet Ella, the dog who saved my life. And here is the first manuscript. Now, as many of you know, I credit Ella to saving my life when I was eclipsed with clinical depression and she passed away now just over a year ago. I was heartbroken and we went on such a journey together from her first breath to her very last breath. We were inseparable for 15 years. So I decided to share our journey through this book. I know many of you have your own Ellas or might be in need of your own one. And I hope that this book will also help us talk more openly about our own mental health, our need for connection, and the way in which the animals that we think we're taking care of are actually looking after us in return. You can pre-order the book now and it will be out in September. The link on where you can buy it is in my bio. And I really hope that you enjoy reading it as much as I have in writing it. Mike was muted. Sorry. Mike was muted. Um, bravo, number one, to James uh, for admitting that he he suffered through mental health problems. And uh, obviously, that's again, that's not an easy thing. That's to not admit. an easy thing to admit. And obviously, uh, bravo to him uh, attributing his dog to that because you know dogs really do. They bring they 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 uh, they bring this sense of security, comfort. Uh, a lot of people have. Uh, st anti-stress dogs, you know, that they have to pet in order to get, what are you doing? Dude? He sorry. met Megan. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why can't you talk? But I just wanted to talk. Uh, sorry, I was going to talk. So, but I just wanted to, uh, to, to say, uh, now James sort of inspired me. I was going to, uh, I'm going to, we're going to, I was going to talk about this. What? Let's talk about that later. Let's not no, this is about the book right now. I know, but we'll, we'll what's wrong with this? Okay, you've already brought that up. Yeah. No, I know in the trivia stuff, but I want to bring it up now. So last night I was thinking about it. I was like, this is a good idea. Um, not many people know this, but I wrote a children's book and it's called my really special. Nancy didn't want to mention this. Nancy doesn't like it because she didn't write it with no, me. No, that's not it. You, I told you, I said no surprises during the live. Okay, but I, I wrote a children's book called My Really Special, Super Terrific, One-of-A-Kind Dog. And I wrote it uh, I'm very back. proud of you for doing it. I wrote it years back. And um, I recently thought, I was like, you know what? I should start selling this again and put it out there and then give the proceeds to animal charities yeah so what do you guys think should i put the book back out there it is it's a delightful children's book i don't think they're going to tell you not to yeah <laughs> it's a delightful children's book about a little boy who finally uh gets to have a dog so his parents take him it's to a three-legged dog that's what i was getting to yeah. it's a, a delightful story about a little boy who gets to uh finally get a dog so his parents take him to uh an animal shelter and this little beautiful old man named Rocky takes him around to the shelter and shows him all the dogs. And then finally, at the end of the story, he picks this three-legged dog, which is his really special, super terrific, one-of-a-kind dog. And he gets home and he ends up naming it after hit, uh, Rocky, the little old man at the shelter. And, and, and tell this is actually that... an auto. This is actually a true story because I named my dog Rocky after the little old man who uh, was at the Van Nuys Animal Shelter. So, if anybody wants uh, me to do this, I will. It's a uh, what talk? <laughs> you're, you're talking <laughs> under the book. If anybody wants me to do this, I will. And what I was gonna do was I was gonna give the proceeds to an animal shelter. But if you guys, uh, if I do start selling this online again, you guys can tell me specifically what shelter you want me to send the money to, and That's I will send idea. it. If not, Nancy and I will send the money to the animal charity of the week. Yeah. So again, guys, uh, this is my children's book That's that I idea. wrote. And uh, again, it's a delightful little story. Your kids will love it. Uh, it's got it's got, it's got really all nice il illustrations. Well, in she it. makes fun of my illustrations. No, no, I'm not. I've said but, it's really. Uh, but it's a delightful little little story, and it teaches your kids about how important it is to go to. Um, the... That's not what the cover is going to look like. This no, is the this hard is, Yeah, that's why. Uh, this, this is just for her this records. This is just for my records. But I will. It, uh, it's going like to like look like a book. It'll look like a look like a book. But um, again. I was thinking about that. So uh, I, what do you think about that? I that's think that's a, a great idea. idea. But I, I was inspired by Dave Portnoy. I was yeah. inspired by James Middleton. Were you inspired by Meghan Markle and her chickens? No, I wasn't. It's yeah. so interesting because when I think about Meghan Markle and how she gave up one of her dogs, yeah. 
I, uh, I I go into a fit of rage. So this this makes me think every time we talk about... But thank about, you, James Middleton, yeah, for giving me that idea. Because I was so like, I'm awesome. just sitting on this book, you know? So the fact that James Middleton was so open about putting this this out there that he suffered... He suffered? Suffered? He yeah. suffered from clinical depression, and this is what helped him. And um, he, he just, you know did something about it instead of whined about it um, is wonderful. But it always reminds me of Harry and Meghan saying that the palace did not help them, that the palace was not there for them. I thought about that too. I, I was mean, thinking about, you know, you have uh, Princess Catherine's own brother coming out and saying yeah. that he had clinical, you, Wendy. clinical depression, guys, clinical depression. Yeah. So it, it does give that, that concern of going, well, if he's saying it publicly, who who he's the brother of the future queen of England, then why would Meghan Markle feel strange or why would Prince Harry feel strange about talking about mental uh, problems? So, again, that's why I want to reiterate sort this, of debunking guys. it. Yeah, I want to re reiterate the time that um, Prince Harry pretty much said to everybody that would listen that he he did this because of William and Catherine. The it was relationship that you've got, you're amazingly close, yeah. and yes, you know, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's it, you know, and some families sadly aren't as lucky as, as no, you guys have been, and yeah. being able to share but. things. It wasn't until he met his wife, Meghan Markle, that he turned to therapy to help him deal with his past. And I didn't have anyone to turn to. I mean, you always said to me, you said, you know, you, you've got to sit down and think about those memories, but for me, it was like, don't want to think about it. Only after meeting Meg, yeah. did you start the process of trying to figure it out? You hadn't tried it before, no? no. It was, but it's, I think, it, what must was happen with us and must happen with others as well is it you have to prioritize, you know, prioritize your mental health. Do you tell other people in the family, I need to get help for her, we need help for no. her? That's just not a conversation that would be had. Why? Um, I guess I was ashamed of admitting it to them. I believe weakness is realizing an issue in yourself and not sorting it. Yeah. I wasn't in an environment where it was encouraged to talk about it either. Uh, that was sort of like squashed. For too long, it has been a case of keep quiet and carry on. It is our ambition to make this year's Virgin Money London Marathon the mental health marathon. Family members have said, just play the game and your life will be easier. In the course of our work, how talking can help heal hidden challenges that we can't deal with alone. The Duchess of Sussex detailed her attempts to seek out professional help and how she was met with denial and indifference from Buckingham Palace. There are times when, whoever we are, it is hard to cope with challenges. And when that happens, being open and honest and asking for help is life-changing. And I need to go somewhere. And I was told that I couldn't, that it wouldn't be good for the institution. Together, we can start the biggest ever national movement to end stigma on mental health and change the conversation for everyone. So every time I put a suit and tie on and having to you know, do the role and you know, sort of like go, right, let's go and face, look in the mirror, right, let's go. Before I even left the house, I was pouring with sweat. My heart rate was, I was in the fight or flight mode. Panic attacks, severe anxiety, and so 28, to probably 32 was a nightmare time in my life. I thought my family would help. Mental health is just as important as physical health. But every single ask, request, warning, whatever it is, just got met with total silence or total neglect. You have to say to yourself um, at some point, because it's very easy to run away from it, you know, to walk away from it and avoid it the whole time. You know, someone has to take the lead and has to be brave enough to, to force that conversation. Look, I was really ashamed to say it at the time and ashamed to have to admit it to Harry, especially. At the heart of this campaign is our hope that no one should be afraid to ask for help. They were willing to lie to protect other members of the family. You know you Let's get our heads together and change the conversation on mental health. I share this because there are so many people who are afraid to voice that they need help. And I know personally how hard it is to not just voice it, but when you voice it, to be told no. Our runners will be raising money for some of the nation's leading mental health charities. And we'll be starting conversations with their friends, families, and colleagues 
about the importance of talking openly about mental health. You want to talk about history repeating itself? They're not going to stop until she dies. <laughs> The lies, the, the lies. lies. The I mean, lies. it just, it, it infuriates me. Yes, it does. Someone just said it makes my blood pressure rise. It makes my, Allison, it makes my blood pressure rise too. I, I just get so infuriated because, you know, James Middleton, I, I meant Middleton uh, William, Harry, all these people that were there, you actually think that the king or Prince Charles at the time would say no to his like son then you need help and then she's on video saying i was ashamed to tell harry 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 wouldn't harry wouldn't care i mean he was on 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 the telly saying that yeah they started a charity over this it just it really does it bothers me so sense. much um and then uh here i have this um sorry let's see what Private pirate, I like your name. Girls, James Milton yeah, is breeding and selling dogs and not well, promoting adoption. Please call this out. Yes, he should not be doing that. I will call that out. Yes. James, <laughs> um, you don't need to be breeding those dogs. I know they're they're for a purpose, and I know you take excellent care of them, but it does break my heart. Maybe James could breed the dogs because that is his business. Um, maybe he could do both. Maybe he could maybe he could do the types of dogs he's he's breeding. Maybe he can also start a foundation for dogs that need veterinary care of those because I know those dogs are eventually gonna have hip dysplasia oh, because yeah. they're hunting dogs. Yeah. And so maybe he could do that. Maybe we could push him in the right direction. We meet us halfway. Meet us halfway. Meet us halfway. Yeah, that might be good. I mean, yeah. you never know. There's always solutions. There's, there's always solutions yes, there's to, always. to every problem. Yeah. Uh, but we we applaud James again for um, coming out with the uh, mental health yeah. uh, news and and of course now this freaked dog, me out. To listen, shelter dogs are very important to mental health. Yeah, so adopt a dog. Yes, adopt a dog today. Now, the but this was. The, are we talking about Megan still? Sorry, well, that what that was a little jarring. Yeah, about 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 her saying that nobody in the palace wanted to help her. Uh, with her with her mental health problems. Well, that's what brings me to this. Harry's uh, UK security thing. Because supposedly Harry... Now, she's pissed off about this, obviously. But Harry's UK security thing um, is... Uh, it ended up... What, what happened, guys? It ended up getting uh, turned down again. But uh, he's supposed to come back to the UK for the 10 years of Invictus thing. Yeah. And he's now saying he's a huge security risk and he can't bring his family. Same old stuff we've already heard. We've heard this stuff a million times. Um, the Duke of Sussex is expected to return to the UK in May for Invictus game event. A source said that Harry is very concerned about his safety in the United Kingdom. Why? What What are they going to do to Ugh. him? They don't even care he's there. The Duke of Sussex recently lost a court case over his police security when he returns to Britain. Have you have your say. Do you think Harry deserves more police protection when he visits the UK? Just oh, they just want you to click that. Guys, have your uh, what do you guys think? Hell no, he shouldn't have any. He should be no. lucky he's he's got an Uber driver. The British royal family did help Harry and that woman. They decided to not accept the help, of course. Harry had a therapist on speed dial. Why didn't Harry call up his therapist? Because Megan was never, she was never that word. She, she was, was never, never that. In, she was never in a mental health crisis, yes. problem, issue, anything. She was never in that state. Yeah. She made that up because she wanted people to uh, look at her like Princess Diana. That's what she was trying to do. That didn't work. Yeah. So she moved on to the race card. That didn't work. So now she's moving on to uh, what's she moving on to now? Oh, she's thin now. Yeah. Now she's thin. But look at this. I found this really interesting. She's marching. The source told Daily Express that why his team was so adamant about keeping his whereabouts on the need to know basis. Whenever he's appeared at events in the UK in the last few years, there have been last minute announcements due to his to, due to this very reason. The fact that St. Paul's had been published the exact time and date of the event he is due to the attend 
on their official website in advance is seen as serious security risk. Okay. Let's just say the leak of the date of the Invictus Games anniversary service has gone down like a lead balloon. Harry is already very concerned over his security in the United Kingdom. So this has just extra anxiety to his fears. What, what risk does he have? He's paranoid. The Invictus Games 10th anniversary service is listed on St. Paul's website for May 8th. However, there has been no public announcements about the event. The source continued, the schedules are always published about six weeks in advance. But the events are usually announced in a different section on the website that is more visible and that hasn't been done yet. Okay, so they're just not... They're not telling anybody. Now, I want, I found a video of Megan when she was courting Harry. Yeah. Okay. This Lo was love bombing. Love bombing Harry. Harry was in her life and she was courting him. Now, Stephanie, let me ask you a question. If you were dating a prince yes. and you were worried about your safety yes. and before you dated said prince, a bunch of people on the internet used to uh, uh, get on your case. Uh, racists used to attack you, even mm -hmm. though there's no proof on Twitter of that. Would you ever tell people on a public forum where you're going to be at for dinner? I don't think I would. I, I don't I'd think be so. scared for my security. I'm not famous. And I don't even do that. I don't even say, hey, I'm going down to Dots tonight at 8 o'clock. Well, look at what Meghan Markle does. But normally I just love a good slice of pizza at Ruby Rosa. Have to hit while you're here in New York. The good that USA Network and Characters Unite does and that affiliation with NFL. So it should be fun. You're also a foodie. Yes. Um, give me your top two, three restaurants that you're going to have to hit while you're here in New York City. Well, I got to be honest. It is, um, I'm going to Del Posto tonight. I'm I saw to that on your Twitter. <laughs> All right. I'm going to per se. I saw that on your Twitter. Yeah, she yeah. said she's going to Del Posto, and he, <laughs> why would you say that? She's doxing herself, and then she's complaining about people knowing where she was because of racism. That oh, doesn't, my God. I mean, this was going on before we even knew it was going and on. And I guarantee you, nobody went down to Del Posto to see if she was there. <laughs> yeah, it's not like it was around the block. <laughs> oh, sorry. Tomorrow, so it's turning into an epic... I'll post out tonight. I'm I saw to, that on your Twitter. Right. I'm going to per se tomorrow. So it's turning into an epic foodie. So she's going to per se tomorrow? She's telling us her entire schedule, just like she did at the, ba remember the baby shower when she was in New York and then she crossed the street to the restaurant she was at? <laughs> that That's usually something you don't do when you're scared. Anybody will tell you that. Okay. Th what Ginger have to say? Thank Sorry. you for the dog, the uh, pup funds. Um, he have love bomb H in photos, but nothing she did with Ewing so obvious. Yeah, pretty obvious. Okay. <laughs> it's like a slurred version of that. Pretty obvious. <laughs> she said, uh, she said, uh, MM may have love bombed H in photos, but nothing okay. like she did with William. So obvious. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Right. Tomorrow. I'm going to per se tomorrow. So it's turning into an epic foodie trip this go round. But normally I just love a good slice of pizza at Ruby Rosa or a good falafel at Taim. So you are Miss Michelin. Miss Michelin rated for the. <laughs> this weekend I am. I will still enjoy a good like street taco, easy and relaxed. Right, you got to get that in so a guy won't be afraid to ask you out for a dollar slice or something Balance like that. Balance it out. Yeah. And Suits is premiering actually on March 6th. So that, that I found very interesting because this is when supposedly she was getting hounded for being black she, and, and Harry had to put out the that. UK I mean, press was like, all oh, over. We got to yeah. just give her her privacy. Oh my God. But now you, I just want to let you guys know, even though I want my privacy, I will be at here uh, tonight for seasons yeah. <laughs> uh, landscaping later today for my big press conference. I mean, she's just giving out. The entire itinerary for the week. Nobody does that. Nobody, Nobody does, does that. that. I've never even heard of anyone doing that. She so. is doing a cooking show and it's going to fail miserably. Oh yeah. Jen said she's doing a cooking show. She had that. Of course she's doing a cooking show. Is she though? Yeah. They said no, on no, Netflix. No. I hear you. But all the projects that they say that she said she's going to do, is she really going to fulfill them? Yes. This, this woman who only works an hour a week, is she really going to do it? <laughs> or, or 
Is she going to make the excuse that people like us in our community bullied her so much that she had she didn't get enough followers and no one watched it? Yeah, Is it she going to blame us? No, she. Well, speaking about, I'm just saying bullies. <laughs> um, you guys, the the bots, the Sussex bots farm is getting cray cray. Okay, you guys. Thanks to everybody here on uh, over on uh, Twitter that shows X. me this stuff. <laughs> um, uh, this person, uh, this is a Sus Sussex squad, I think. Um, just one visit. They're like, oh, look, just one. Let's see what uh, Kate has to say. Hi, ladies. Hi, everyone. So glad I made a live today. Just a little something. Oh, for me. Thank, thank you, very you much. Kate. Kate. Very nice. We're so you. happy that everybody's here. It's so fun. It's the highlight of our week. So this person's trying to show the world that, oh, look, it's, look how famous she is. Look at all these articles that came out because she went to a hospital. Okay. I want you guys to see this guy. This, this brought, I was, um, I think it was Royal Rogue who showed me this one. But this guy has two accounts, okay? And he, he did these hashtags inspired by Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. I donated to Children's Hospital LA. I doubt he did. Check this out, though. Every other thing on his page is a, for, is a different language. That's the only time he does English. That is what a Megan bot looks like. Same thing with this guy. This guy is in Arabic. Sorry. Arabic. And check check it out. He's got two names and two profiles. 303. Yeah. So he's a bot. And, and 302. Oh, he's sorry. Definitely a bot. We got Dear that Twins, much. I've been binging on your old broadcast. Oh, thank Can you. Can you please update us on Masan and April Rain Sand Beefs? Okay. I don't know Misson, anything about it. Misson, uh, th the, the only update for Misson, and we'll, we'll say it, I mean, it's not a big, Misson threatened to uh, sue us and take down our YouTube page. Uh, nothing came. There was nothing that came out of that. He is a uh, liar and he threatened us. And he threatened my dad to try to take away my dad's 50 years of, of, of <laughs> he uh, tried to ruin his professional <laughs> career yeah. and nothing came out of it. So uh, Misson's just a big coward. And we're not afraid of them. So we're going to continue to speak the truth. We're going to exercise our First Amendment right. And we're going to uh, speak the truth. So we're not going to have me son. We're not going to have me son uh, go after us. That's for sure. So, yeah, I did get this from Royal Rogue. Th thanks to Liberty Austin's screenshot of Harry and Meghan's bots. Hear this. Not only half of them have Middle Eastern names, but all of them are verified. And see how... Um, most of them are like the same names. It's just really creepy. So they're they're getting desperate. But even the fact that they're getting desperate, she still only has less than 600,000 followers on Instagram. And those are bots. I know. Those are bots because I have, like, listen, I follow a lot of pop culture and a lot of people. I follow like tons of, of celebrities on, on Instagram because that's my jam. I got to see what Jenna Raniston's up to. None of the Suits cast is following her. None of the reality show people are following her. Andy Cohen's not following. No one's following Meghan Markle that has any substance. If you go through her list, you will see they are all bots. They were they were created last month. There's only four followers or they, they don't follow anyone else but Megan. This is so obvious. And, and Elon put out and I got, I got to, did, did we retweet this? What Elon said, Elon said the other day, because I just want to say this uh, live. Sorry, go get out. Sorry. I just want to say this live. Our friend on um, X, what are you doing, dude? I just want to say this on, on our live. On our, the British our, fr our friend on X Twitter, uh, the British Prince, he his account was suspended. And I, I love him. I think he speaks the he's truth. Great. He never says anything uh, defamatory. He never no. says anything uh, misogynistic about no. me. He's a he just sticks to the facts here. And his uh, account was suspended. And a lot of people went to Elon after that. And Elon actually responded saying, listen, we're going to go into this and we're going to we're going to try to remove all these problems. 
problems in these bots. So hopefully everybody uh, out there who was following the British prince can, uh, again, just kind of go to him and say, hey, we need... Oh, thanks, Jen. Oh, thanks, Jen. We need your help with this because the, the Sussex squad bots, they're out of their mind. They're going after uh, normal people here that don't even say anything mean. Yeah, you know, I, I don't get it. I mean, they're getting desperate. But a lot of people have been locking their accounts because of it. Mm -hmm. And, I, and, and don't be afraid. Because we're not going to let them win. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to let them win. Tell us we'll fight for you every time. Well, we'll all fight for you. Yeah. So you know who wouldn't, who would keep fighting? Dave Portnoy. Dave Portnoy. Miss Peach's okay, so dad. We save the best for last, <laughs> of course. Um, okay. Oh, do you, do you guys think she's going to have a, a American Riviera Orchard come out next week? When do you think this is going to happen? I think I, I personally believe that the, the, the launch obviously was, was, uh, stopped because of the cancer diagnosis and and then nancy thought the easter launch was going to happen that didn't happen but um i think personally i believe now their her sponsors that were sponsoring all this backed out that's what i think i think it's going to be another one of those things that harry and megan uh you know like pearl you know, like what was that animated series on Netflix? Megan Pearl. Marco. But uh, yeah, Megan Markle, you know, all that stuff. I think I think she's going to back out at the last minute and I think she's going to blame us. She's going to say I was bullied and no one followed me. And this is they're they're attacking my career now. And, and I can't even make money for my for my ghost kids and all this. stuff. You know, I mean, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, and uh, yeah, so and we I got we got May 10th. May 10th. Okay. It could be okay. May 10th. May 10th. It could be May 10th. But before we before we uh, get uh, get to Miss Peaches here, okay, let's see. I want to ask is going to oh. start showing items for sale when Catherine comes back. That's not going to be I think till September. I don't think she's I don't gonna, think we're going to see I, her I think September. Lady C or someone uh someone said that it could be September and I believe that too. I think whatever listen, she's going through chemo right now. She's she doesn't want to be seen on Stephanie public. can answer this Justine. Why are oh. people so fooled by this scan? Oh, we said uh, we we I You were you were pontificating. I the was other pontificating day. the other day about cults. I really am. I I have a feeling that she is uh do you guys remember the Nexium cult with Allison Mack? Do you guys remember Allison Mack, the the gal, the act, the the D list actress, just like Megan, D list actress, who was going around and branding people with her initials in it? Do you guys re remember that? I have a very uh, suspicious feeling that Meghan Markle is uh, in, in that world and uh, with this launch. You know, remember we were comparing the branding thing. Do you have that? We were yeah. sort of comparing. Well, to, thanks to Resting Dollface. Yeah, Resting Dollface. <laughs> Resting Dollface got into the nitty gritty. But if you guys remember from Nexium, the branding uh, was very similar to this. <laughs> and uh, you could kind of see, you know, there's the H and there, there's the M. You can kind of see it and, and the crown and everything. And uh, that all that rigmarole. But uh, if you go to Allison Max branding and you sort of put them. Sorry. There you go. There's Allison Mack, the uh, the the D the D list thing, and there's her branding with her initials. I can't but, leave that up yeah, that so much because it. YouTube doesn't like a uh, uh, skin branding. Yeah, we shouldn't do that. But yeah. I'm just saying uh, that is why I believe uh, people like Misson and Christopher Boozy and that UCLA knob that that recently did all that. Jay Hoopla, Perk, Jay Perk, Jonathan whatever. Perkins. I believe that they are minions. Uh, praying to a higher power, Gosh. and that higher power is Meghan Markle. It is a cult thing. Cult cults do this. They they uh, they prey on on weak people, and they bring them in. And this is what's going on right yeah, now. That's what I believe. Well be this very on. well could be the yeah. same sort of thing. So that's so hopefully would, that answers would, your question. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past me if this wasn't some sort of a weird cult and he's doing that better up thing which um i'm going to buy a online ticket to and we will be streaming that in may don't worry we'll stream that live don't there's do, resting oh doll there's resting doll face resting doll face love you too thanks for that if you're not following resting yeah. doll face on x go give her a follow she 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 solves puzzles she's great she's a puzzle sol we love solver her. and we love her so much so yeah so we have some really fun um i i i uh i found footage of Chelsea Davey at Harry's polo matches and we're going to compare them to Megan 
at Harry's Polo Matches Life Slow Motion. They're a lot of fun. We're going to do that tomorrow. Um, and they're going to be a lot of fun. Today was my last live with you until, uh, t and, and then you're going to have a special guest next weekend. Yes. Because I'm not going to be here, but don't worry, we're still going to have a live. <laughs> but I want to um, end the show with, okay, so Dave Portnoy took Peaches on a business trip. This was her first time on a business trip. He took her to Phoenix, Arizona for the March Madness. Guys, here's some of the highlights. Up is now you're comfortable. Doesn't seem overcoming. But you're asleep. Oh, DJ. So that's uh, <laughs> was that the end okay. of it? No, I want to show this too. Okay, so then then he took peaches. Sorry, to, I was giving my dog a treat, okay. and I'm like, oh, and is that the end? No, we. I wanted to end off on on saying this is why I believe Dave Portnoy could be voted People Magazine Sexiest Man Alive. Okay, this clip alone. Okay. Okay. It's really nice. The reason he couldn't look up, because Dave had tears in his eyes. He had tears in his eyes. Oh, my Brady, God. Brady, that little fan of his and oh. uh, Miss Peach. And, and I remember on, on one of the one of the gals uh, on one of the videos goes, I she goes, she goes, it's my birthday weekend. And I heard Miss Peaches was, was in here. town. <laughs> yeah. Usually Dave is is meeting, meeting and greeting his own fans because he does have fans of his own. OK, obviously. so watch this. This is Dave at an appearance for his uh, new uh, malted liquor thingy. High noon. It and says, he, it's a hard, uh, hard liquor. I no hard seltzer whatever Literally. and well, look at guys i have to turn the song off because it's copywritten but um look at how everybody wants to see miss peaches instead <laughs> this is so cute <laughs> they they're bringing gifts to her <laughs> this is his appearance this is his appearance but people don't care they don't want to take the picture with dave, <laughs> with dave. they want to take the picture with miss peaches and this is what he's doing he's bringing so much uh and uh, adoption awareness out there and so many i feel like he's making such a big difference i feel like people are going out this weekend and adopting dogs that's I, what i well think. it's getting his base to do it yeah and and it's, it's amazing and he's, he's doing, bringing us into this yeah <laughs> i mean this is amazing this is amazing, just amazing what he's doing for these animals these pit bulls and of course nancy and i have two pit bulls so we're yeah. look at this look at this look at the phenomenon behind this 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 <laughs> This dog was just adopted a month ago. Look at this. No, three months three ago. Three months ago. Sorry. Was it February? It was it's February. Three months ago. It was February. It was February. Oh, Miss Peaches. Well, we want Angel. And then there's just one more. There's um, the U U C the the fighter guy. Yeah. Okay. So it's even like remember last week we were complaining about that uh UFC fighter. Sean no, Strickland. So Sean Strickland. He didn't like the fact that Dave doesn't have children. He didn't like the fact that Dave has a has a dog child. He was like, if you're a real man, you'd have kids, you know. And it's like Dave's like, what are you talking? I have a kid. Her name's Miss Peaches, you know. Yeah. That's my daughter. So this so dude this other guy who fights people like Sean Strickland said this. Yeah. Shout out to Dave Portnoy. I want to meet Mrs. Peaches. We love that dog. I want to meet her. 
<laughs> Say that again. I love it. He, I mean, out of nowhere, he just uh, says this. This is a, a fighter guy, U, UFC fighter. Shout out to Dave Portnoy. I want to meet Mrs. Peaches. We love that dog. I want to meet her. Look, I mean, it's it's adorable what and he's then doing. And this is, this is him back at the hotel. This hat right here. Oh, I don't remember it having these giant holes in it. Do you? Do you happen to know anything about this, Miss Petrus? Huh? Oh, no. You just say, give me them belly rubs. Don't worry about it. You can get free ones. I know it's your company. Oh, Miss Peaches. What the heck? That's true, Ophelia. Real men do support Miss Peaches. So yeah, they do. And and lovely story. Lovely, lovely story. story. But uh, guys, in five minutes, everybody head on over to Real Housewives recaps. She's Jen's going to take over. She is going to talk all things uh, craziness, Meghan Markle, all things royal, all things pop culture. And I love Jen's opinion. She's always spot on. Yeah. I feel like we all share the same brain. Uh, and we will come to you uh, live if anything happens, if we see any of this uh, American Riviera Orchard uh, come out. But yeah. I doubt it's going to happen. So luckily, we have some fun. Um, and I thought about we it. We have some fun reaction yeah. videos. And I thought about it over this. I really uh, I really am going to put out my book, guys. You I decided should. on it on this live. I'm going to re-release my really special, super terrific, one-of-a-kind dog. It is the children's book I wrote on animal adoption and how important it is to uh, adopt, don't shop. Okay, and this preggy hydration. If anybody's uh, wanting to go, if they're uh, if they're ha don't want to deal with jet lag or if they're not drinking enough on airplanes and uh, vacations, try this because I'm not feeling that weird vitamin where it makes your stomach nauseous kind of thing. So yeah, it's called pre. It's from Three Lollies. Three lollies. Three three lollygaggins. Look at her. She drank the whole thing. She drank. Do you feel hydrated? Do you feel good? I feel like I drank water. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Um, okay, so we got again. Everybody head on over to. Okay, Stephanie do you guys want to do a joke? Do you want to do my last joke? Last guys? joke of the day. Okay, this is my last joke of the day. Okay. Dun da da da. <laughs> As the highly anticipated solar eclipse approaches on Monday, April eighth. People across the country are gearing up for this celestial event while witnessing the moon casting different color and tones and shadows. When Prince Harry was asked about this phenomenon, he said, how dark are we talking? Because <laughs> of skin tones. I know. I <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll leave you on that note, everybody. Yeah. I'm going to go uh, get that book ready for everybody to buy. And we, yes, sell the book. Sell the book. I will. And again, I want to thank Dave Portnoy for inspiring me and also James uh, Middle Middleton uh, for doing that as well. So yeah. today's animal rescue, we got a good one. It is Hooves <laughs> and Paws Rescue of the Heartland. I want to read a little bit about it. Hooves and Paws. Um, this was um, suggested by one of you. I always, I always like that. Hooves and Paws Rescue of the Heartland is proud to be one of the largest no-kill rescues and shelters for horses, donkeys, mules, dogs, and puppies in Iowa and Nebraska. Very awesome. So we've got a lot of them. They do all sorts of things like rehabilitation, fostering, adoption, veterinary care. So let's take a look at these guys. Go over to Hooves and Paws Rescue of the Heartland and um, share it with friends and family if you can. All right, guys. Everybody head on over to Real Housewives Recaps. We are still going today. Do the Happy Sunday, job. and we will see you soon. Uh, if Nancy does survive the trip, she'll be back then in a well, couple. I'm, I'm doing I'm doing shows. No, I meant a live. This yeah. could be your last live. <laughs> <Okay. This> could... <laughs> and I will avenge your death, dude. Avenge it. Please. Avenge will be had. <laughs> That's just a joke. All right, we love you, and we will go out to make it. Thank you.